फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट हियर द लर्नेड एडवोकेट फॉर द पार्टीज एट लेंथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी कंसिडर whether the findings of the learned court below regarding the incapacity of one of the directors of a company can be construed as an incapacity of the company itself learned advocate for the appellant cited an unreported decision passed by a division bench of this court in shivam coke private limited versus Eastern Coal Field Limited and another on 3rd September 2015 wherein the ill health of one of the directors of a company was considered by the court for condoning the delay in preferring the appeal the fact and scenario of this case fit into the facts of this citation actually the director of a company and the company are separate identities but when the director is acting on behalf of the company his behavior act omission applications wrong doings etc squarely affect the company if one company is dependent upon one director for completion of a duty and at this juncture if the director becomes incapable of doing the same the company is no doubt becomes liable and have to face the consequences of director's incapacity in this case it has been pleaded that the appellant defendant company place their reliance upon one of the directors sushila gupta to conduct the case on behalf of the company the illness and mental inability of the director has been pleaded and it has also been a fact that the said director had died so in this case the incapacity or inability of the director sushila gupta to conduct the case affected the company thus in my view in the present case the incapacity of the director can be considered as unintentional incapacity of the company itself in such view the opinion of learned court below is actually not correct in the facts and circumstances of this case let me consider the ratio of judgments cited by the learned advocates for the parties the legislature has conferred the power to condone delay by enacting section 5 of the indian limitation act of 1963 in order to enable the courts to do substantial justice to parties by disposing of matters on merits the expression sufficient cause employed by the legislature is adequately elastic to enable the courts to apply the loan in a meaningful manner which subserves the ends of justice that being the life purpose for the existence of the institution of courts it is common knowledge that this court has been making a justifiably liberal approach in matters instituted in this court but the message does not appear to have percolated down to all the other courts in the katiji and others versus land acquisition anant nang and another hierarchy and such a liberal approach is adopted on principle as it is realized that ordinarily a litigant does not stand to benefit by losing an appeal late refusing to condone delay can result in a meritorious matter 
being thrown out at the very threshold and cause of justice being defeated as against this when delay is condoned the highest that can happen is that a cause would be decided on merits after hearing the parties stop